Hey everybody, Wolfie here. Me and Alex are out doing some scouting for muskrat and beaver sign. Um, we're up here at Long Pond, about half hour, or half hour, half half mile from the cabin, and it's looking pretty good up this way, especially for muskrats for this fall. Um, I'll spin the camera around here and show you what all I'm looking at. Okay, nice close up here of a good spot for muskrat. They've been coming up on the edge of the rock and stuff here for to feed and as a toilet. A few fresh pieces of lily and stuff in there. But this log and them rocks right out there and down that little square of rock right in front of it, that Alex is sniffing. Alex, get out of there. You leave that alone. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this log here will be a good spot to get a few muskrat traps, even if the water level come up. Um, down at this end, I'll, what I'll do is I'll take uh, my hatchet or tomahawk and I'll cut out a little flat spot for the trap to sit on, put it on a drowning stake, and they'll come up, like obviously put some lure or bait on it, and do the same over here at these rocks right here. I'm trying to zoom in on them, right down in here, under the edge of the log or wherever. Wherever I can find a good spot to set the trap in solid. And I'll do the same here. I'll probably have to use a conibear bear here. Somehow. I'll figure something out for it. But yet, I want to show this good little spot here for muskrats. And we'll be back. Another spot here, muskrat's been coming up to use as a toilet. Set up a, oops, set up a drowning wire going out into the deeper water. Quick easy one set. I'll put a trap right there. Hook them up, step in the trap, down they go. Lots, that's a pretty well used spot. Same with the right pair. I can probably get two traps in at the spot, maybe even a third. This little spot here, this little cubby hole. Swing the camera around here. We're on the edge of the hay marsh there, the creek's right here. Like along here little spot there in the bank. Normally this spot where I'm standing is underwater. Not a lot of water, but underwater. That'll make a nice spot for a mink set. Still travel along through here. They go up and down the shorelines of the creek on a regular basis, but that'll make a perfect little mink set right there. Maybe a 120 cona bear over it, and some bait back in there. Got the channel here. Still a little too much water. I'm just wearing my normal hiking boots. Ain't making it out onto the island that's right here. So we'll be back shortly, hopefully, with some other set locations. Another nice little spot. Probably get a muskrat trap on. Right 
here at the end of this log. Notch a little spot to hold the trap and hopefully get something if Alex don't ruin the spot on me. <laughs> oh, dang puppies. I should shove them in. No, I can't be that mean. Okay, on on down the creek. Looks like a couple more possible locations here to set up for mink. That one in particular. Another little cubby, natural cubby underneath a root ball. Once again, a little 120 in there. Some bait in behind. Should be a pretty good spot. Another muskrat log. That channel's a couple feet deep, so properly set up trap on a drowner. Should be able to put one in right near the end. Maybe some kind of conibear set up farther in the log. Got a good little stretch right here on this channel, starting at that stump. Get a drowner in there. Something right by that root ball there. Should be able to get in under there. Either for muskrat or mink. Perfect spot right there. Should get something out of that. And we've got a muskrat feed spot there. Um, might be able to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Where they've been going up to feed. A bit closer look at that root ball cubby. That one I'm not so sure about, but I'm going to take, take a closer look. And I've got the proper boots. And definitely you're going to be setting up over there. Same idea. Well thought out drowning stake. Nice little section of shoreline right here. Should be able to get a few sets in for mink. Going right up around the bend here. Should be able to get one or two in at least. Maybe something along the edges of the hay if there's any decent spots along there. Definitely right over there through this section here and on out. I know there's a few muskrat like big muskrat houses right out there. You can actually see one back in there. See if I can point this out a little better. Right there. That's a muskrat house right there. Let me try and get it to focus nice and clear on it. No, that ain't working. Okay. Follow Alex's lead up over the hill. Get the zoom off. There we go. See what's on the other side of the hill. Around the bend back towards the cabin. Well, there's the cabin over there. Different view of my marsh for what normally gets seen. There's the creek running through. We just came from up there. There's that last spot I pointed out along the bank. Should be an awful lot of spots across through the marsh this fall and winter. First some muskrat trapping. Several spots for mink along the shores. 
Maybe even get a weasel box or two out. Okay, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Like I was saying at the beginning, just out doing some scouting for muskrats. A little bit of looking for a beaver sign. Not a lot of it out, but there's lots of muskrat sign. It's okay, they're a lot easier to work with. Okay, so until I see us all again, everyone have a great day. We'll talk soon.